uh, hi everyone uh, today we received a request from one of our uh, subscriber uh, that uh, he wants to do a simulation uh, for uh, finding the integral for two of the function uh, as shown here the first integral is uh, minus 2 to 2 uh, e raised to power x plus x square so how would we do the simulation in Excel so today uh, I'll show you uh, how we can do that uh, before doing that uh, I'll just give you a small uh, tutorial on uh, what the integration is all about and how simulation is used so suppose if I have a function y is equal to x then if I plot this function uh, it will look something like this and uh, this is y and this is x and uh, if i want to do an integ integral of uh, this then uh, this uh, will look something like that uh, x dx uh, 0 to 2 so in that case what i'm asking is that i want to calculate uh, the area under the curve uh, from 0 to 2 so if this is uh, so I want to calculate the area in this region. So if I do the integration here, integration will look something like that. Uh, x square by 2, uh, 0 to 2, or that will be equal to uh, 4 square. Oh, sorry, uh, it should be uh, 2 square divided by 2, and that will be equal to 2. Um, another way to do the same thing uh, is to just look at this triangle and this is 2 and this is 2 so this is the area of a triangle so area of the triangle uh, is equal to half into uh, base into height so that will again give us 2 right so the third approach to do the same thing is by simulation so what the simulation do is that it takes uh, a y and it multiply this by dx and then takes the sum of it in that case the dx should be very small right so uh, if you look at the integral so suppose uh, if I have a line here so in that case this is called uh, dx and this is y right so if I calculate the area I have to calculate the area of the strip so if dx is very very small uh, this strip can almost be considered as a rectangle and the area of a rectangle uh, is equal to y into dx where dx is one of the side here and y is another side so that's almost equal to a rectangle So if we add all these rectangles together, uh, then we'll get the area. So I'm using this approach to calculate the area of this function. And then I'll use uh, the same approach to calculate the area uh, which uh, uh, our subscriber has asked for. So let me begin uh, in Excel. now we are in excel uh, so suppose uh, if uh, i am want to do integration from x1 and x2 so x1 uh, is suppose is 0 and x2 suppose is 2 and we want to calculate first the dx so how small we want to go for dx so um, let's say that uh, we divide this range into 500 uh, equal distances so in that case I'll say x2 minus x1 uh, divided by 500 so now dx is very small it's 0 0.004 so now uh, let's say that uh, I now stim simulate x so my first uh, d uh, because I start with x1 so I'll say that my x is x1 which is 0 and then the next x or next increment would be x1 plus uh, this uh, dx and uh, I'll put a dollar sign here because uh, when I drag the cell down then the reference uh, for this uh, cell will not change 
so now if I you can see that if I drag it down uh, there is a uh, increment from 0 0.004 to 0 0.008 um, and if I click on this then reference is still the same however the reference uh, a7 has changed because there is no dollar sign here so now I can do the same thing and I keep it keep dragging it and uh, so you can see that uh, I just need to reach until um, to so now you can see that I have reached uh, two here and uh, you can see the number is 506 and uh, I started uh, with uh, uh, six so they are total of uh, uh, five, 501 uh, points so now uh, if I calculate uh, y so because uh, our first equation which we want to try let me say insert here and the equation uh, equation is uh, y is equal to x right so in that case uh, if I put uh, y is equal to x so I just need to say y is equal to x and then uh, double click here so I get x and y and then I can plot these two functions together and this is how the, I, I get the same line as I showed uh, before and now to calculate the area all I need to do is uh, add all the y's together and then multiply by dx so the answer should be equal equal to sum and then add all of these together and then multiply by dx so that's my answer so you can see the answer is so so answer is 2.004 which is very close to 2 which we calculated theoretically now let's uh, go to the request question so if we go to the request question that was uh, why uh, so it, in this case uh, we start with the problem a uh, so x1 is the uh, minus 2 and x2 is still 2 and then uh, the equation changes to something else so in this case y is equal to uh, exponential of uh, x plus x square right so that's all we need to do and then double click on this one and now you can see that this is how the equation looks like and if you calculate the area under the curve that should be our answer so it is that simple uh, now let's go to the problem 2 the problem too is little trickier because here uh, it says that x1 is 0 but x2 goes to infinity and we don't know what that infinity means so let me keep it to 2 right now and let's see where we what we can do so here uh, I'll say y is equal to uh, x into 1 plus x square uh, is to power minus 2 right so if I do this and then double click on it and now you can see that this is how the equation looks like so now um, because it goes from 0 to infinity let me try putting 5 here so if I put 5 here then you can see that our uh, curve is approaching 0 again if instead of 5 I put uh, 10 here then it uh, further approaches 0 and if, and if I put 100 here then it goes to approximately 0 so you can see that the answer is not changing if I put 100 it's 0 0.49659 if I put 20 uh, or not sorry if I put x2 as 20 it's 0 0.49862 so it is still uh, uh, approximately same so we can safely assume that the answer for this should be uh, uh, if we uh, round off it should be 
uh, 0.5 uh, so in that case uh, it doesn't matter uh, for simulation we can uh, either go uh, to uh, very high number or still we can only do it simulation until 20 however uh, be cautious here because if you put a very high number for x2 like suppose if i put this high number then my number will change here because my dx uh, is very different so because dx is different uh, it straight away goes from 0 to then 6000 and uh, and you lose all the simulation uh, which or all the area which you need to calculate uh, around 1 because you can see that the peak was around 1 so you can't do that in this case so we have to be careful in that regard right so i hope uh, this tutorial help and uh, if you, if anyone uh, has more request they can always uh, submit that request to me by my email uh, or just leaving a comment on the uh, under the video and uh, i'll try to help in that case uh, thank you